My name is Holly Carew and I'm a senior at Westboro High School. I have been a Girl Scout since kindergarten and this year I am working on my Gold Award, which is the highest award a Girl Scout can earn. To earn a Gold Award, you have to create a sustainable service project with a minimum of 80 hours completed. For my project in particular, I worked with a nonprofit group in town called In Your Shoes Westboro to create and manage clothing drives to contribute to the In Your Shoes Community Clothes Closet, a sort of free thrift store to give out coats, boots, new underwear, and new socks to those in need. Recently, I had a chance to catch up with Terry Gavin, the president of In Your Shoes, to talk a little bit more about the project and the positive impact the store has had on the community. Hi, um, I'm here with Terry Gavin, the president of In Your Shoes at Westboro Public Library. So Mrs. Gavin, um, what is In Your Shoes? In Your Shoes was started in 2008. It's um, a nonprofit that gives back to people that live and work in Westboro that are in need. Awesome, so um, how did you come up with the, with the um, original idea for the clothes closet? We actually did a clothing drive about three or four years ago, mm -hmm. and from that, um, people were asking if we were going to ever do that again, and we it was a lot of work, so we scaled it down and just did the um, clothes, I mean the coats, mm -hmm. excuse me, the hats and mittens, and the new socks and new underwear, and it worked out really well. Awesome. So in like your own words, what is the clothes closet? So was it just like winter items and other things like that, or like what exactly? Absolutely. That's what it was. It was winter coats, hats, mittens, new underwear, like I said, mm -hmm. new socks, and if anybody threw anything else in, we generally just <laughs> took it. That's awesome. So, so I actually, I love how you guys did um, new socks and new underwear too, because I feel like personally, whenever I think of a clothing drive, I don't ever think of like socks and underwear as like something that people might like need. It's so. true. It's true. Um, that's how we, when we did the clothing drive, mm -hmm. um, that was one of the things that everybody requested. Oh, okay. So we went out at that point and bought new and, and things like that. So um, when we did the clothes closet, mm -hmm. we made sure that we added that. That's awesome. Well. And I, I think you, I think that you told me earlier that um, all of the socks and underwear just like went like completely like gone, right? They're all taken super fast. The table. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's so awesome. So that <laughs> definitely um, demonstrates s such like a great like need for those items and everything like that too. Absolutely. So um, what was the thing that was taken the most or like the fastest? Was it the coats you said? I think it was the coats. People came in. A couple people came in a couple times, mm -hmm. and um, I think the biggest thing was we actually need children's coats. Yeah. And so I think next time we're going to expand that, the donations and everything. But your bins were <laughs> awesome. Thank, thank you so for, much. Thank <laughs> you, and thank you for spreading the word through the high school. Oh well, thank you. Um, where did most of your donations come from? Do you know? Like, was it from the schools? From like social media? I like, where'd you get them from? I think most of them came from the library. Oh, cool. Okay, absolutely. I know that one time when I came um, to pick up one of the bins, it was absolutely just overflowing with coats and everything like that. And so it was two days, every two days we were coming back. Really? Yes. That's so awesome. It was really well. <laughs> so, um, in overall, how many coats did you like give away? We gave out over 350 coats. Oh, wow. That's yes. so awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, Thank you for your help. Oh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> um, for the coats that you didn't give away, where did like the rest of the items go? Um, we actually um, got together with the Westboro Nursing Home. Mm -hmm. They took 20, and the rest, I think we donated um, to Goodwill, but it really wasn't that many. It was maybe like five or six that we had left over. That's so, so great. I know. It's really good. It's awesome because um, you don't have to go like, store any of them for next year either right. if you do do it again. It, we shall do it again. That's awesome. So yeah. my next question was going to be, are you going <laughs> to go do it again? And um, when like will you do it? And like where, where like will it be and everything? We actually did it above the food pantry. Mm -hmm. And we were just absolutely thrilled that that worked out. And we'll do it again over the food pantry. Okay, and cool. do the same time in October. That's really great. I know that... Um, you told me earlier that a lot of the same customers, I guess, came mm -hmm. up fr from the food pantry. Mm -hmm. So I think that's like a really awesome place t to have it because then people right. can go get them like super easily. Right. It's it really was, cool. It was really yeah. great. Yes. And then October is a fantastic time too because then people have a lot more time to go get all of like their items and get ready like for winter. Right. Before the snow hits. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> which is <laughs> pretty soon, I guess, too. Yeah. Which is crazy. But I know. Yeah. <laughs> and then. <laughs> yeah. So my final question was going to be, um, what can people do to help for next time? I think the same thing is just continue to save your coats, hats, and mittens, and um, 
if you want to go out and buy some new underwear and new socks and put those away for next year. <laughs> we'll love them. Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Mrs. Gavin. Thank you, Holly. We appreciate all your work. Thank you. It was so nice to talk to Mrs. Gavin about this wonderful organization and initiative that I have been so lucky to be a part of. As Mrs. Gavin said, the Community Clothes Closet gave out over 350 coats to a community that really needed them. While Westboro may be a relatively affluent town, there are still people in our community that really need our help and support. Especially in a wealthier town, it is more important than ever to help these people get what they need, and that is exactly what In Your Shoes aimed to accomplish. The purpose of the Community Clothes Closet was not only to give winter clothes to those who needed them, but also to bring awareness to this pressing issue, something that I think we did a great job doing. The outpouring of donations and generous support from our community was absolutely amazing, and that is truly what made this event successful. If you would like to help with this drive next year and support this wonderful cause, save your coats and boots because they will be back at the same time next year. Additionally, In Your Shoes is always looking for volunteers. To learn more about In Your Shoes, visit their Facebook page or website at inyourshoeswestboro.com. Thank you for caring.